Welcome back folks, and uh, as you can see now, uh, since the long strenuous task of painting the bike in the last few episodes, the bike is finally back together, by the seat. Uh, so what we're going to do on this episode is just run through a little bit of detailing on the bike. We've already flattered down and polished the tank and the fenders and everything we've painted. Uh, but what I'm going to do is run through what I use now to uh, bring that shine up to uh, a show standard. or aluminum parts will get a bit of a tarnish on them and slightly dull off and again as you can see if I turn to one pipe which bronzes out with the heat uh, we'll just clean that up now it will bronze out again which is the look that I like but it's just to take any tarnish marks off now before the season begins again so as you can see now just by using a bit of what I use and the, the, the polish takes the tarnish off on the stainless exhaust so if any of you have a stainless exhaust and you don't quite like the tarnished bronze finish on your bike uh, just to show you that you can take it off and bring back the factory look and I know you can use the heat shields uh, to keep them looking you know new all the time because obviously the silencer doesn't bronze out it doesn't get as much heat there um, but you can see the difference on that so I'll just bring you a little bit closer to the bike and then we'll run through what we use to polish various uh, bits of the bike, i.e. the paint work and the bright work. Okay, so we'll start off with the rear. And you can see now in the light, we've got a bit of light coming through the window, how we've got some of that copper into the black. So from, from this distance now, the rear fender looks black. And then when the light hits it, we've got that bronze, beautiful bronze colour coming through. shows the difference now between the two pipes and bring that clean look back and the rockers have a slight bit of tarnish on them so you know you want to be able to see your face in here so we'll run through what we use to polish that and there's a tank with that beautiful bronze hitting in the light Okay, and around the wheels. Now on the cast wheels on the 48, you have these uh, aluminium bits, or alloy bits that, that shine through the paintwork. Uh, these can dull off over time, so we're gonna give them a little bit of a spruce up. To wipe the wheel over, but there's more we can do to that to bring that black up and really make it pop. Um, any of your add-on bits as well, you know, with your uh, alloy parts that dull off, these aren't too bad. And any other nut and bolt. What we're going to do is just show you how to make things like this pop. Okay, so with the tools I use, again I've shown you this before, you can buy these, this one's a snap-on one, a detailer, a polisher, sander polisher, and you can buy one from Sealy for I think about 830 UK pounds with, I'm not sure whether that's one or two batteries, this one comes with two batteries, and as you can see that one's got the, the sponge mop on. Use two sponge mops, uh, with a soft and a medium, that one's getting quite worn now. And also in the pack you can buy is the Lamb's Wool Polishing Mop. And you can see that one's had some use as well. And for the paintwork, that's just for the paintwork mind you, um, I will use a medium cut. And that'll take any fine imperfections out. Renovation compound. And then we'll go to a final platinum polish, which is a polymer polish, which will seal your paint and really, really make it pop. Okay. And then for the bright work, my favorite is the white diamond, the white diamond metal polish with a long lasting sealant. 
and that's important that as you can see it says removes oxidation and discoloration from uh, aluminium brass chrome stainless steel returning surface to a brilliant shine and uh, boy that does that work uh, also works great on discolored headlamps so on any plastic as well it actually will polish plastic up uh, so that is my favorite and I know a lot of you out there do have your favorites but white diamond is a favorite for me and the importance with the sealer is it will uh, stop the oxidation as well and give you you know it'll put a sealer on there and stop uh, a little bit of that bit of that happening or at least it will slow it down and save you polishing every weekend okay so first we're going to move on to a bit of the paint work and uh, show you how to bring that back up to a show standard first of all what we're going to do is show you how from a flat paintwork you can bring that up to a shine so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, some of the sanding paper that I've used on the tank flattened down now this originally would have been a 600s grit and obviously it's been used now so it's probably the equivalent to a thousand and where we've already flattened and polished this what we're going to do is just go over that again and take the shine off uh, probably some of you now thinking that's sacrilege down they're taking the shine off the paint sandpaper on the paint on the fresh 2k lacquer but don't worry in fact every time you do this all you're doing is putting a flatter finish on the paint and the flatter the paint the better the shine obviously if you put a microscope up to a flat finish you know it would be there will be a lot of undulations and when you take them out hence more the mirror finish okay so we'll just give that a wipe off okay and you can see now the difference of how flat that is in comparison to the shine and where we've just sanded down so next step we'll take the sponge pad now you can get the uh, the larger type of polishers which you'll see used on the cars after the car painters have used them and i do have one of those myself uh, again i think that's a sealy one uh, which uses the larger mops which i go over to my polishing section which needs to be tidied which uses these larger mops but obviously for a bike you know you want to get in there with the finer detail and to me they're just a little bit too big to use hence why these things are an absolute godsend okay so we start with the medium cut now G3 is a common one to use which is EVO 3 it's the equivalent and you only need a little bit okay you can put it on there or you can just put it on there with a rag it doesn't matter and obviously don't put too much on or else you'll have polish all over your bike now a little trick that I use as well for the tank and I'll show you that in a bit but for now I'm just going to put that into there and then work with some even strokes and this is on speed one you don't want it too fast and you don't want to press too hard and burn into your paint so The other thing you don't want to do is to spend too much time on your edges. Okay, and that's all you need. So we'll take a clean rag. And there you go. So where we sanded down. depth of shine is back in the paint beautiful so the next step now is to go over with the finer cutting compound and this one is the Evo 3 renovation compound so it's a little bit finer
Okay, and then wipe that one off. And again, now you can see how we're getting a beautiful glass clear finish. Almost with a good reflection on the paint. And then to top that off now, we'll just use the polymer sealant. And again, this is almost like a watery liquid, but what that'll do then is seal the paint. And this really does bring a pop. And give that depth to the paint, which is what we're all after. And I noticed that one there, you can just apply it by hand. Now you can use the lamb's wool mop, uh, but mainly better for bigger areas, obviously, because uh, it's hard to get in. It's easy to do off the bike, which I have already done, but we're just going to show you now, obviously, how to detail while your panels are on the bike. Okay. Beautiful. So I thought I would just show you a quick uh, tip because I was just looking around for something in the garage and then realized, oh, this is what I used to do the tank. So if you want to polish your tank without getting polish all over the other parts of your bike, just get yourself a sheet and then cut a slot in it and then hook it over the tank. Okay. So therefore then you can you can polish that now with as much polish as you want and you're not going to get all them bits of polishes underneath them, those little bits of your bike where you can't get out and you have to wash it again. So uh, yeah, great little tip. Just thought I'd show you guys that. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that little vlog just to show you how I detail uh, my Harley uh, and what polishes and things I use. And I hope that's been a bit of a help to you. There's plenty more you can do on it, bits and pieces, uh, but would be here forever. And I've still got all the finer detail work to do, but uh, yeah, if we did that, we'd, uh, we'd have a six hour video. So uh, in a short little uh, clip now, I think uh, we'll just show you around the bike and then start it up. See if she starts, she's not been started now for about three weeks.
so there you go still sounds as good as ever and we just can't wait to get back out on the road uh we've got a little bit of sunshine today and it was so tempting to get out until uh i was going to open the garage doors and put the gear on and then a heavy shower heavy heavy downpour again which is forecast now for the rest of the day so again we're delayed for the riding but i promise you as soon as we get that good weather we'll be out doing the vlogging again and uh give you a lowdown now um on the paintwork as well out in the field um so i hope you enjoyed that and i'll just show you one thing now as you can see that i took the bronzing off the uh, exhaust headers and even after that little two minute stint of it running now you can see how they've just changed color a little bit again But of course, now we've polished the pipes, it's going to bronze a little bit quicker and also get a little bit of a, a deep lustrous shine as well, which is turning a little bit goldy, which is absolutely beautiful on my bike, which I love. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this. Hope you've enjoyed watching it. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Plenty more to come from the channel. Alcamoto out.